Bruce Smith and Rod Woodson have always been linked by being the dominant players at their positions during their parallel NFL careers. And now the link continues with both selected Saturday to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Smith and Woodson's careers began in the mid-1980s, and both are heading to the Canton Shrine in their first year of eligibility. I don't think any of us start playing football because we want to be in the Hall of Fame. I started playing football because my brothers played. I want to be next to my brothers, and each year I got a little bit better, and fortunately enough for me, I'm, you know, 17 years later in the National Football League, five years removed, I'm in the Hall of Fame. From 1987 to 2003, Woodson was a ball hawking defensive back with four teams. He holds the career mark for interception returns for touchdowns. Smith is the NFL's all-time sacks leader. 200 of them accumulated in a 19-year run, played mostly in Buffalo. The two greats also share a deep appreciation for the support provided by family members. Just thinking about my father and all the sacrifices that he and my mother made as I was a child, growing up to become a man. How he wanted me to have a life better than he had for himself. I just wish he was with me. I want to say hello to my wife who uh, I put through a lot in my life. But I want to say thank you for sticking with me, being my partner, and uh, been the rock in my life. The most poignant family moment was provided by Bob Hayes' sister. She read a letter by the former Cowboys star receiver written before he died in 2002, just in case his hall selection ever came. I would like to thank everyone who supported me to get into the NFL Hall of Fame, the Dallas Cowboy organization, all of my teammates, and everyone who played for the Cowboys. Also selected is Bills owner Ralph Wilson. He's been an integral part of the pro football family for decades. The 90-year-old helped form what was called the Foolish Club when he and five others started the AFL back in 1960. I have made so many friends in football over the last half century. Coaches, players, fans, sports writers. You know, it's been just uh, part of my life. And to get this great honor is, uh, I don't know what to say. I gotta say something I know. <laughs> Here's something that can be said about Wilson. When he enters Canton this summer, he'll become the oldest of the Hall's 253 members ever to be inducted. Also heading to the Hall posthumously is Derek Thomas. The face of the Kansas City Chiefs in the 90s, the linebacker was just 33 when he died. He terrorized the opposition, recording the most sacks of any player in the league during the decade. He literally could change a game with a single play. Perhaps the most telling statistic in that regard is that Derek forced a fumble in one out of every four games he played in during his career. Longtime Vikings guard Randall McDaniel rounds out the six new electees. For the six newest electees, this has been a memorable day in the spotlight. Perhaps a more emotional one is yet to come. That'll be August 8th in Canton, Ohio, when they're inducted as the 2009 class of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Covering the Super Bowl, Jim Militello, the Associated Press, Tampa.